Dan with Dan and Sarah Makers, and today I have something a little bit different, but I think is kind of fun. So we've all been in an elevator, or most of us have, and we're always liking to punch the buttons and the door hold open button and all those different things. But have we ever figured out how those buttons get connected to the motor at the top or bottom of the elevator cab? Well, here we have a chance to find out. This is actual elevator cab control wire. And this stuff is unique in that it is absolutely filled with a bunch of other wires. Everything for that elevator is contained in this single cable. So I've seen lots of different videos on YouTube with undersea cables, internet cables, high voltage cables getting cut apart. And most of those have maybe a few conductors, one conductor, some shielding on the outside, something like that. But nothing that I've seen yet comes close to this. So let's break into it and see what it looks like. All right, I've taken a long piece of this or a longer piece and I've cut out the outer insulation, which is the black portion. Underneath that, we have this white braided fabric sleeve that covered all of this. This, as you can see, just looks like, I don't know, it looks like a mop head almost. And this is what is actually contained inside of that large conductor. We've got all sorts of individual wires, power lines, communication lines, alarms, um, just everything you can imagine that helps control that cab. In the very core, we've got three separate wires that are actually carrying two individual conductors, a red and a white wire here, and they have copper shielding on the outside of each wire. So I'll break it down one more time and lay out these wires just so we can kind of get a count of what is actually in this thing. Here it is, the entire cable spread out with its components. There are 66 individual conductors in this one cable. And I believe, if memory serves me, this was a three-stop elevator. So it was designed for three individual floors. You start getting into an elevator that's for a 30 or 40-story building, there's going to be a lot more cable in it. But yeah, we've got a lot of small conductors, different color coding on them. We've got some larger power cables for those. And then we have three cables in the center that actually carry two conductors apiece, one of these little red and white wires with a copper shielding braided over the top of it. We have some core, wire, uh, core cord, which just helps maintain the shape of the wire itself or the cable. And then we have fillers for each individual layer of bundled wire outside. So yeah, it's an interesting thing. I would have never known that this cable held that kind of number of wires in it until I saw it firsthand. So one of those things you don't get a chance to see very often. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this look at an elevator control cable. And this is Dan with Dan and Sarah Makers. Have a good one. Bye.